It would be so great if you take your shirt off, then I would see everything. <laughs> What is happening everybody? I'm Igor Shalvarov here at 2018 Independence Day Ball Dance Camp and beside me are the winners of Blackpool Dance Festival <laughs> last year and it's gunning. You know what? Once you win it once, it's like dun 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 dun, dun. They're coming in. Victor Fong, Anastasia Moravyova. Guys, how you doing? Very good, very good. Here it's 8 o'clock in the morning. They're going to be a little bit slow on the starts. 5 a.m. LA time. Which is 5 a.m. LA yes. time. So That's right. we're feeling great. Yes. <laughs> what is the plan for uh, the lectures and what is the plan overall for the camp? As in any lecture or teaching that we do, we try and give everything that we have, all of our knowledge, information. We also try and make it as fun as possible. I think the more fun it is, then the more people um, can learn. It's a lot of things that we like to talk about, things that we think are important in dancing, and we're just having a great time sharing this information with them. I think it's extremely important that people actually enjoy what they're doing, mm -hmm. and especially the dancing. Yeah. Yeah. So we try yeah. to help them as much as we can. We do the mechanic part, we do the maybe entertaining part, mm -hmm. and as long as they're smiling and they enjoying this up, that's the most That's important. all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of laughing, lots Lo of laughing, yeah. I think. Yeah. Are you guys sticking to the basic stuff, or are you doing a little bit of the advanced mm -hmm. thing? Match? A little bit of mix, it's yeah. Magic. magic is in the mix, so yeah. we're doing a little bit of both. I got a question about uh, the differences um, of dancers who are attending different camps. In comparison to other dancers that you see at different camps, let's say somewhere, you guys are traveling quite a bit in Asia, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Primarily in China, I would assume? Yeah, we do a lot in Asia. China. We do a, uh, Asia. Asia, China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Japan. and Japan. Yeah, Japan. Japan. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So dancers out there versus dancers out here. What is the attitude towards the workshops? Any differences? Oh yeah, a lot of differences. Well, when we're in China or Japan, they, there's a lot of listening and there's a lot of um, repetition. And here what's great is there's a lot of questions and I and think there's a lot of yes. communication and there's a lot of feedback, which is great because it really gets our, our mind going. It gets my mind going. They ask a lot of great questions here. Uh, sometimes some questions that I never even thought about, so it makes me really think. Whoa. Um, so some it's really good. Some questions we don't Curveball. expect, some so questions that we don't happens expect, too. So it's really good. Yeah. Do, you, and do you remember any of the questions that you sort of don't expect? Yes, Those have got I to be memorable. One yesterday, I was wearing a sweater. Uh -huh. So they just said, oh, I can't see your back. Can you take off the sweater? I said, sure, no problem. So I took off the sweater. And then I was showing, sure, and then I can see she's kind of looking at her partner. So what, what happened? She said, it would be so great if you take your shirt off, then I would see everything. So that kind of question you don't expect to see a lady. I've never heard that question come yeah. up in China or <laughs> Japan. No. no, I've never heard that. <laughs> They're just a little bit more conservative yeah. that way. Oh, see, yes, we possibly. just want to see the structure, how yeah. it operates. Yeah. It's like nothing personal. Exactly. Okay, so I'm curveball curveballing the the black pole question. It was a, it was an emotional moment yes. when you guys were there yes. and it was just like was you tell good. me what it was like. Well, it was pretty. It was it was pretty cool, actually. Um, it was definitely an experience, I would say. A moment yeah. we will never forget. A moment we will never forget. Yes. It was it was very good, I think, from an audience point of view. I can imagine because how the results came out it was very very exciting. Which I think, as we had heard from a lot of the audience and actually a lot of people that we spoke with, there hasn't been that much excitement in the Black Bull professional ballroom in many years. So it was really great. And of course, um, you know, when it came down to the 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 results before the quick step, I think that was a moment when it was the most sort of, you know, heart pumping. Because <laughs> we knew that at that moment, you know, there, anything could happen. And uh, fortunately, quick step went our way. So then, you know, then I lost it. And then I just bolted out. Just <laughs> bolted it. I was just gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you never know and you never can predict or expect. You just hope and yeah. you do your best. You do your best and you hope. Yeah. And I think that moment of awards yeah. behind the scenes. We will remember. Yeah. Would it be the same if that happens again? I think it's, um, well. It would be different. It would be different because we experienced something like that, but it would be still I think very the emotional. excitement would still be there. Yes. I think the excitement from uh, within ourselves and also from the audience point of view, I think it would still be there. Is it something, is it one of the goals just to do it again, win it again? I think it, um, the goal in any competition for us is to do our very best and to outdo ourselves from the previous time that we danced. Mm -hmm. From any, it doesn't matter whether it's Blackpool, of course Blackpool is the pinnacle of all competitions in our industry, but whether it's a, a local competition or a competition in Asia or in England or Blackpool, 
we always just try and outdo our best, uh, just outdo ourselves. So. But I wouldn't mind winning to the game. <laughs> I <laughs> know. She, okay. she, she wouldn't yeah. mind that. You've been at competition, like as in competition world, for such a long time. What still drives you to do that? I'd be burnt out like in the first probably <laughs> couple of years. No, that's it. I'm gone. <laughs> I think we always just reset the goals and we make them um, harder and stronger and further away. So we're always searching. We're always trying to redevelop our dancing, redo things and um, just explore and make ourselves uh, hone our skills and make ourselves as, as good as possible. Plus, you probably know Victor by now. Mm -hmm. When he gets on the floor, mm -hmm. he always do different things. Yeah, yeah. So it's never the same, so it never gets boring. I keep her on her toes. Oh yeah, yeah. No you do. No intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's interesting for us, because it keeps us always kind of like guessing, me guessing, what's he going to do and mm. what are you feeling? Yeah. You're guessing what you're going to do as well, probably, yes? Well, and when I'm in the competition, I'm not really thinking. I'm really just in the moment. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling and I'm, I'm really in the moment. I'm spontaneous. And I think all the practices that we do um, gives us the skills that I can do that. And it gives you the skills to be able to respond to that. Not follow, but to respond to react, that. Yes. <laughs> to react. Yeah. Ooh, how industry is changing. <laughs> Let's say about 20, 25, 30 years ago. Yeah, you got to follow. Now, no, 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 response. No. You've got to respond. No. Guidance. What would you like to see in the future of dance sport? Personally, I would like to see a development of dynamics from our side. I think we can develop a lot of the dynamics while still maintaining the character of the dance. I think that and would quality. be a f and the quality. I think that would be a fabulous mix. Many times you have only the quality, and maybe sometimes it can be called a little boring. And sometimes you have the dynamics, and then that can say, "Well, that's out of the box and it's crazy." I think a, a, f a great mix of the two would be fantastic. It would be exciting, yet at the same time, a lot of traditionalists can appreciate the quality and the skills and the basic quality that's there in the dancing and the character of the dance. So I think a, a good mix of the two would be great. Mm -hmm. The truth about the dancing and a little bit of excitement. Truth about dancing in what way? The quality. The quality. The centering, the feet, the, uh, the togetherness, yeah. the harmony, yes. The skills. With yeah. a little bit of entertainment in it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Victor Fang and Anastasia Moraviova here 2018 Independence Day Ball Dance Camp. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Perfect insight at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, Washington, D.C. time. Happy 4th of July. Oh, no, that was yesterday. <laughs> Hello.